Licht auf die Menschen, die man nicht sieht. Regen auf Land, wo die Ernte verglüht. Lieder aus Licht für die Kinder, diese Welle Chorus ist. Mehr Blumen im Asphalt, Gefühle statt Gewalt. Ein Morgen hinterm Horizont für alle Kinder dieser Welt. Now, let's come to the Eurovision Song Contest and we know that Austria has been not part of it for quite some years now. Um, and you worked as a television director, a music director yes, yes, uh, yeah. on, at ORF. Yeah. Uh, what could be done to get Austria back to the Eurovision Song Contest? Um, first of all, at the moment I think that um, so many countries really are in the crisis. Um, it's the same thing with the ORF. Um, there is really a money problem there, which can be solved. The second thing is that um, Eurovision has developed into a high energetic uh, show. Uh, especially when the, the Eastern countries came in, they are really hungry. They are really, uh, they want to, to, to win. They, they have, uh, you know, they still have this power where we already settled down, where we already have realized that uh, it's different. They haven't realized it. They really are going for the first mm -hmm. place. And um, we have to make up with this. And um, this thinking is not at all conservative. This thinking is really, you have to be open-minded, you have to be a very free, very young in the brain. And um, I must say that um, Austria is rather conservative. We have, of course, the possibility to be different, uh, as Falco uh, proved, as uh, Opus with Life is Life. There are, there are some, some special personalities, of course, but uh, all in all, uh, the Austrian people are very relaxed, they are very comfortable, they are, very, they are lovely, but um, if you want to win at the Eurovision Song Contest, you have to be a light person, you have to be a powerful person. Yeah? And, um, well, as long as uh, people decide um, who are not that energetic, mm. we wouldn't succeed there. I, that's what I think. Would you want to go back to your vision yourself? I mean, you've been there six times, so would you want yes. to come back? Well, I think that it's, uh, it's, um, it's a show for younger people. You know, I'm, I'm 51 now, and um, of course I wouldn't be afraid to go there, but uh, actually the young people now that are in the show business, they look beautiful. They can, they can move, yeah? they, they are dancing, they can do saltos, whatever. I couldn't do that, I just could go there and write a good song and sing a good song. Of course it can, it can be successful, but I would say this show is really for younger people. It's really for, for, for a high energy, for a hype, you know, and uh, I would like to, to back it up, you know. I could imagine to write a song, to take a young guy, as, as we have today, uh, and, 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 and push him to the max from his uh, possibilities, mm -hmm. you know? Because I know what I do. I'm a singer, and uh, as a producer, I could, of course, uh, get him to a point where he said that he never thought that he could sing it like this. Mm. That is a very nice, and it's a, it's a, great, a great feeling to, to bring somebody, somebody to his max, you know? Now, I, I don't know of any Eurovision performer that has been there six times on the stage. Do, yeah. do you confirm that uh, behind I the camera? Agree. I think I agree. Yeah. Um, and it's just amazing. Yeah. You, you've been a, a part of a band, uh, West End, yes. back in '83. Then yeah. in '84, yeah. you sang uh, backing singer for Anita. Yeah. Right. 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 Uh, then you did solo twice, mm -hmm. Kinder dieser Welt mm -hmm. and uh, Nur Gefühl. Then you were backing vocalist for Tony Vegas with uh, Maria Magdalena Maria Martina, and right. Stella Jones Stella in '95. Die Welt dreht sich verkehrt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you prefer to of this? Being a solo artist or part of a group or backing vocalist? Uh, of course, I love it to be a solo, uh, but I'm also a team player, you know. Um, the reason, I can explain that. It is, uh, Eurovision is one of the very few shows where you have to sing live. You know, there is uh, everything concerning vocals has to be done really live. And um, I am a singer, I'm a musician um, who can sing right also mm -hmm. under pressure and um, that is uh, I'm, I mean there are, we had we had this uh, show dancing stars it's a it's a BBC format mm -hmm. uh, we had that and I was also in this um, under the singers because uh, you know 
is you have to be 100 percent every mm -hmm. every time it goes on air, and um, of course they they realized when it was there was uh, with. Uh, West End, they realized that I can sing. Then it was an, uh, it was you know the, the band of West End was also the studio band of Falco. So we uh, sang Falco in the studio. The first uh, first uh, CD was called Einzelhaft. Mm -hmm. There was the Commissar on it, which was a world hit, and and um, I proved that I could do a 100% live job. And I didn't really care if I'm in the backing vocals. Because for me it was important to support, in this, in this case it was Anita, uh, 84, and then they realized that uh, it worked with West End, it worked in the backing vocals, they had a relaxed time because everybody knows what he does. And then, of, uh, of course, it was an easy decision to, to take me for 85, for, for kin uh, Children of the World or Kinder um, This is, But this is really, this can be explained um, as a musician, mm -hmm. that, that I can just do it. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, yeah. uh, do you think Eurovision is heading the right way with uh, what they're doing now, with make, becoming more a show contest? Well, it, um, there was, I think there was uh, a decision which was taken that was not quite uh, right. When they decided to, to get rid of the orchestra, mm -hmm. um, there was really a great loss there because um, it it became um, it lost it lost intensity, yeah? mm -hmm. and um, there it started to be uh, like a, like a, like this, and um, um, which is also in another way not bad because uh, I wouldn't say that it's important to always have this gravity feeling. Yeah, it's it, it is good to have fun, but. Uh, the problem is that the Eurovision Song Contest number one doesn't really match with the number one in the charts. Mm -hmm. And this is the problem. If, uh, if the Song Contest, if Eurovision would be uh, a competition where you know when you win there, then you have, you sell two million copies yeah. in Europe or, or whatever, yeah? then um, it would be taken serious.